Yo, this is a very important video, so stick with me. I'm about to prove that their time is up. And I promise you, ain't nobody say anything about this because they don't know the actual truth and probably don't even want to believe it. So I debated on making this video just because all the infiltrators I've been talking about recently. Because I already know they're going to take this and remake it however they feel like remaking it. But I'm the first to show you. As y'all can see, it's 4-6-2024. We have the sun to the right. Then we have Mercury in the middle, who y'all would know as Jesus. We have Jupiter to the left, who y'all know as Baal. And we have Uranus to the left also, right beside Jupiter, who you would know it as Eve. As y'all can see, the planets are basically stars. They have a north and a south pole on them. That basically goes through the planet. And as I mentioned before, planets are toroidal fields. Any type of energy is, including us. That's what our aura is. So just in case you don't know, this is a toroidal field. Positive energy up top, negative energy on the bottom. And where the energy meets at is called a plane of inertia. So this is how our planet looks. Earth is a flat plane of inertia because we all are energy. Everything is energy. So what they did was overrun the negative energy on top of the positive energy, causing us to drop down as in like a spiral. This is how we end up in a black hole. They reverse their energy, but positive energy cannot die. So we ended up creating a whole reality for them to live in also because our minds will refuse to die because we create reality literally. And that's what they're manipulating by changing our energy, reversing it. That's why the whole world is so negative now to keep this going on. And here we have the eye of Horus, which also represents the black sun. As I said, we fell into a spiral going down to a black hole. That's what the end of the spiral of this actual eye of Horus means. Also, Horus is another name for Jesus. And then we have the famous Nazi symbol. But as y'all can see, there's plenty more symbols just like it. Why is that? Because they all represent the black sun, the four corners of the earth going into a spiral which is the black hole. Now we have the Statue of Liberty, who is Apollo, which is really Mars. The torch literally represents the fake sun that NASA has a patent for that blocks out the black sun. The seven candlesticks represents the seven planets that took over, which is a dragon slash reptilians. And got plenty of videos going on further details about all this. I'm just giving you a quick rundown that there's plenty of proof out here proving what I'm saying. Well, I hope that gave you a little bit more understanding of what I'm trying to show y'all right now. Look at where the sun is at and look at where Uranus and Jupiter is at. Also note to the top, that is also the Devil's Comet. As y'all can see on this camera angle, Uranus and Jupiter is to the right. And we have B to the left, which should be Earth. And you see how close we are basically to the sun. This is why I constantly preach that 2025 is the last year of this reality. Because once we approach the sun, it has to reset no matter what. This is also the reason why I said they're going to start pulling some crazy moves right beforehand because they don't have any time. They have to try to get us to produce as much negative energy as possible in order for them to manifest their desired reality. This is the old poem trying to wake everybody up. So this don't happen again. So this video begins on the first day of April. As y'all can see, there are literally Star Wars going on right now. This is basically the same image I showed y'all earlier, but it's in motion. As y'all can see to the top left, that's the devil's comet they was talking about. It is on the move. And I believe it's really for Jupiter and Uranus could look at the movement of the devil's comet, but also look at what Jupiter and Uranus is doing right now. Meanwhile, Mercury is chilling. So I zoomed in for y'all so I could see much closer to what's really happening here. Again, look at Jupiter and Uranus. They are clearly in battle. As y'all can see, I believe this is a protective shield because it's protecting themselves from the sun and all the solar flares y'all see. And also y'all clearly see there are shots coming straight from out of the planets. Come on, there's explosions and everything right there. How can you deny this? How? Look at it again. There's no way you can deny that this is actually happening right now. Y'all see the world? I mean, I know it might sound crazy. You might want to question me, but question NASA. Question the satellites. Why are they showing this? I would not be surprised if they take this down. And I don't care what nobody say, this is real. They have to show us some other truth. It's because they already know most of y'all not going to believe it anyways. This will be the moment y'all say, oh, NASA the deceivers. They don't tell the truth about anything when it's on a topic like this. I want something stupid like the Earth has been a million miles per hour all kinds of loops and spirals going to nowhere like come on bruh like that's the only thing that's real to y'all 
long as it makes no sense. But like I said, don't question me, you question NASA about this. And while you at it, question them about this document of war against the United States of America. Ask them what they meant by spaceship Earth. Maybe it means because we live on a spaceship. Ask them what they meant by bloody skirmishes on every corner of the vessel. Like I said, the four corners of the Earth into the black hole. And then how are they increasing size by two million per week? They're bringing entities in from another planet. Tinkering with the temperature and life support controls. Global warming. Then the next page, talking about humans have taken over and vastly shortened evolution. So the goals of the planet is to destroy it, of the human species, to brainwash it, products and life forms, mix everything with man image, which is the image of God. If you go to my subscriptions on Instagram, this is the very first video. I cannot post it nowhere else because I get violated every time because it's too much truth. This is something you cannot deny. So like I was saying, this is literally their last chance and clearly they are in battle right now. Trust me, I know how crazy this sounds, but it's the harsh truth that we've been prisoners of war this whole time. Stuck in an alternate reality that they can manipulate from our negative energy because we fell in frequency into their territory, which is the underworld. Hence the black hole, which is the black hole sun. Everything has been a lie. I prove this to y'all over and over and over again. But anyways, y'all know I keep it. Y'all be gods. Hey.